Hey guys, UK Cousin here. Just wanted to uh, show you guys about a uh, Nazi contract pistol that I got. Uh, it is the Femru 37M. It uh, was manufactured by Hungary uh, during World War II and a little bit before and a little bit after. Comes in 380 or 32 automatic caliber. Now the Hungarians use the 380 version. The uh, Third Reich for the contract pistols only wanted to use the 32 caliber. Comes with a seven round mag. It was designed by Rudolf Frommer in 1937. Uh, seems like the Reich wanted to contract out a lot of its uh, lesser manufacturing needs, such as sidearm pistols, so that they could concentrate their industry in uh, manufacturing bigger things, tanks, planes, etc. Let's see. Uh, as you know, well, some of you know, a lot of you don't, that the uh, Nazis contracted a lot of these pistols out for manufacturing. There were several, like uh, from Spain, Czechoslovakia, like the Astra 600, the CZ 27, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what I will be doing is doing a POV uh, live fire of this, and I have done it. It works beautifully, and uh, look forward to that in about a week from after this is uh, posted. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you guys also. Let's see. We got uh, 7.65 caliber, and that is 32 caliber. I'm sorry, 7.65 millimeter equals 32 caliber. That is the model 37. Here we have the year 1943, and it is Waffenau stamped here and then other places uh, on the barrel is one. And the slide is a second. So I also wanted to show you guys how easy a takedown that this was. I'm also going to be posting a diagram because I'm not going to completely strip this thing down. You need a punch and it would you know, make the video too long. But I am going to post a diagram in case you do run into one of these. Uh, one other thing, the only thing different besides the caliber that the uh, Hungarians used versus the Germans was the slide the catch safety here if you run into the difference between a Hungarian and a German Nazi contract is the addition of this safety catch if it's not a Nazi contract 37M it will not have this catch that's the only two differences but what I want to show you how easy it is to take down you basically have two notches right here. Slide it back to the first notch. Lock it into place. And then you can basically see this little knob on the side. Let's see if I can get that for you. Right here. Doesn't require anything. You just do about a 90 degree turn. Comes right out. Okay. Release the catch, pull straight out, slide comes right off, spring. Now, if you did want to take the firing pin out, say you broke the firing pin or need to clean inside there, there is a pin that you will need to knock out right here. And I will be showing you that on the diagram because it just shows up better. You can pause it, look at the diagram, all as well. So hope you learned a little something about this. I will be doing a, a POV uh, fire with this thing. I also have several more videos coming, uh, such as uh, I bought a fake infield rifle that I'm going to show you the difference between a jungle carbine and a fake one. So anyway, stay tuned. Click the uh, subscribe button if you like, and uh, I will see you very soon. Check out my other videos too. Thanks, guys.